Hello and welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. Learners of class 6, today we will learn and appreciate the poem A House or a Home by Lorraine A. Holly. Myself and Kriti are with Hi. you and we read, reread the poem. Then let me begin Kriti by asking you some questions. Sure, sir. Just the learners there, close your eyes and think of your, think for two minutes and recall the questions, uh, answer, uh, when, uh, whatever comes to your mind when I ask the following questions. I am going to ask you some of the questions. How is your house? When you think of the house, what are the things, objects come to your mind? Who are the people come to your mind? when you think of the house. What is the thing you like most in the house? Who makes the house happier? Now, Kriti, yes, sir. can you uh, respond to some of the questions? What are the things, objects come to your mind when you think of your house? When I think of my house, the objects which come to my mind are the dining table, the sofa, or the kitchen, or the bedroom. Fine. Who are the people who come to your mind? The people um, who comes to my mind when I think of this question are my mother, my father, my sister, my niece. What are the things you like the most in your house? The thing I like most in my house is my bedroom where I can, uh, you know, stay as, uh, as whatever I way want. You, whatever way you yeah, want. Yeah, no, complete freedom, autonomy. Yes. What do you feel? Who you feel makes the house happier? Definitely that would be my niece because she is a four year old child. So her presence makes the house very happy. Okay, the, the innocence, ignorance yes. and the jokes. Childhood attitude. Mm, fights and all. Fights and all. Okay. That is what the poet here is bringing some ideas, some feeling about house or home. So before we get into the poem, let's understand, let's know the objectives of this lesson. So may I request you to read Kriti. At the end of this lesson, the le learners will be able to understand the ideas of the poem, the difference between a house and a home, appreciate the poem and the use of words to denote different meanings. Use the ideas of the poem to reflect how a home is more human than a house. Okay. Simply as learners of class 6, we are going to understand what the poem is about, the ideas. How the poet uses the words to denote, means to mean something which is different. So, also let me ask the learners and you Kiriti, a house, a home both refer to mean the place where we live. People yes. live as a yes. family. It's not office. It's not some building. Hmm. So why it's given two names, house and Hello. home. So I'm not going to ask you the difference between. Oh. So let's read the poem and understand. Here is a poem, a house or home. Let's read it. A house or home. What's the difference between a house and a home. What is a house? It is brick and stone and wood that's hard, some window glass and perhaps a yard. It is eaves and chimneys and the floor, tile floors, and stucco and the roof and lots of doors. What is a home? It's loving and family and doing for others. It is brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers. It's unselfish acts and kindly sharing and sh showing your loved ones you are always caring. So the poet Lorraine M. Hurley, in the first stanza he says what a house is and the second stanza he says what a home is. So I am going to ask. Uh, before we discuss, Hakriti, uh, you read it again. So, 
we are going to read at least four five times the poem yeah a house a home what is a house it's brick and stone and wood that's hard some window glass and perhaps a yard it's eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof and lots of doors what is a home it's loving and family and doing for others it's brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers it's unselfish acts and kindly sharing and showing your loved ones you are always caring fine okay learners what's what's a house now let's look at the screen there's a difference between a house and home so let let's list whatever the poet says forget our own houses or home let's look at the objects i'm going to ask you uh, Kir kriti to write sure i uh, let me read the first stanza what is a house it's brick and stone and wood that's hard some window glass and the and perhaps a yard it's eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof and lots of doors come on let's uh, list them I, i'm going to read again you list them okay sir what's a house it's brick and stone and wood that's hard some window glass and perhaps a yard it's eaves and chimneys and the floors and stucco and roof and lots of doors come on what are the objects in the uh, house so i have written brick mm. stone wood window glass a yard door stucco eaves chimneys okay it's a house it's a house so it, you have you have got a huge house sometimes the, the government places are called house I, let's not name them uh, president lives this that so oh, they are they are houses but let's also understand what your home is critically listen and list, list them the qualities or people objects of home okay. as you have done for house, house. Yes. what's a home it's loving and family and doing for others its br brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers its unselfish act its unselfish acts and kindly sharing and showing your loved ones you are always caring got it yes sir okay now come on uh, let's uh, read out learners also may have done it there uh, the qualities the 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 things in the qualities in the house come on read out so i have written in the house in the house mm. so for the house i have written brick, brick stone stone wood wood window glass window glass yard yard door door stucco stucco eaves and chimneys chimneys so there are lots of things all of them are what non living things non living objects yes, okay. okay let's look at home what's yeah. what's a home a home comprises of family mm. doing for others yes brothers sisters fathers mothers unselfish acts which we do for one another and the love and also caring caring so yes. uh, learners there so forget the uh, uh, language of the poem he uses some uh, it's, it's a western poet stucco chimneys which he, which may not be a uh, familiar <laughs> to us but they are objects of the house yes so come on uh, kriti let, let you please read the poem again to the readers so that they understand uh, what makes a house and what makes a home oh. yeah a house a home what is a house it's brick and stone and wood that's hard some window glass and perhaps a yard its eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof and lots of doors what is a home it's loving and family and doing for others its brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers its unselfish acts and kindly sharing 
and showing your loved ones you are always caring. Now, I am going to ask you, we have listed the objects which make a house. We have listed uh, words, uh, actions which make a home. Okay, now, learners, let us write some sentences based on our learning from the poem. What is a house? What is a house? Can you, can you say some sentences? Sure. Mm. Uh, a yeah. house is a place where I live with my family. Uh, it's, it is built up of bricks and cement and we decorate the house with the furniture, the paintings. Fine. Okay. A yeah. house is full of objects according to the poet. So, when we do not have feelings, yes. it is a house. Yes. So, what is a home? A home is where the feelings are, where the family is, where the love is, where we show compassion towards one another, where we show unselfish acts towards one another. So, we get angry with people, but later we forgive them. Yes. We tell, we point out their uh, mistakes, yes. wrong things, then sometimes admonish. Uh, in those days, no, it is not done now, it should not be done. Uh, children uh, even get, uh, used to get, uh, you know, slaps. For, for something. So, that is the kind of home, but it does not mean that they do not love children. So, so, ultimately the poet, what, what does the poet want to tell? The same building can be a house and can be a home as well. So, who makes the? It is the people who are living in it. Okay. So, it does not matter what kind of building you are yes, living in. Absolutely. Uh, what kind of place you are living in. Yes. You make it home. home. Because you make people feel at home. Yes. So, learners there, we are going to ask you something that is, describe your house in your own words. Tell your friend or you will write yourselves in your language, maybe Hindi, Tamil, Malayalam, Bengali, any language first, then also write in English. So, before we leave, close this, let us read the poem twice. First, let me read out. Then, so why this so many readings? So, you should be listening to it. Also, you use the QR code in the textbook, NCRT textbook class 6 to listen to. They are also recorded with some music. So, which makes the poem much more interesting. Come on, learners, you may close your eyes and listen to, so that you get the image of the house and a home or a home. Go, come on. A house, a home. What is a house? It is brick and stone and wood that is hard. Some window glass and perhaps a yard. It is eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof and lots of doors. Okay, what is a home? What is a home? It is loving and family and doing for others. It is brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers. It is unselfish acts and kindly sharing and showing your loved ones you are always caring. Now, Kriti will read the final reading, then some discussion, then we will close it. Yeah. A house, a home. What is a house? It's brick and stone and wood that's hard, some window glass and perhaps a yard. It's eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof and lots of doors. What is a home? It's loving and family and doing for others. It's brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers. It's unselfish acts and kindly sharing and showing your loved ones you're always caring. The poet is Lorraine M. Halley. Okay. Uh, dear learners, also to the teachers, let us not spend time, let us not talk about the poet too much. Though the poet has given some of the references, chimneys, stucco, roof, which we may not use, we use it in our language differently. Uh, uh, the houses are built according to the weather conditions, climatic yes, conditions. Yes. So, you may find different ki kinds of houses in hill places and uh, de okay. deserts yes. and sea, uh, seashore, hmm. seaside. But house is there, 
home is there everywhere so a small work to you learners you may find about the poet who he is where did he live what he is and why he wrote the poem that's up to you but at the same time uh, what is important is read the poem two three times if there is some elder at home or your uh, sibling your brother or sister ask him or her to read out to you you close your eyes and listen and also listen from the qr code uh, our textbook so and then write describing your house some 10 sentences in the previous lesson we discussed how to write adopting following process approach yes. writing you gather ideas then put you put into points then write so you feel that you live in a home not in a house, in a house. not with the objects yes. so dear learners appreciate love your home people at home so that makes you a home a good home thank you very much thank, thank you. you thank you kriti thank you sir